Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium Java Framework tutorial, we are going to continue our discussion on how you can extend the framework and make it robust so that you can maintain it and it's more useful and requires very minimal effort to maintain, right? So we have seen how you can basically externalize some of the details into config.property. Say for example, the browser you want to run or the test URL. Now, if if we go to the test case you can see that all the locators are there in the test case as well right so is it required to have the locators hard coded within your test absolutely not right if you are doing that way you are almost killing yourself if you are going to write hundreds of script right say for example you are testing the login functionality and it has a couple of elements so username password and login button tomorrow the locators for these three web element change or some of the property of the locator got changed now in case you are hard coding these locators so basically the locator when i say or it's xpath or whatever you use for, to locate those web elements on the web page if it changes then if your test case is using login and hundreds of test cases are using the login before you go ahead and test anything else then you have to go into each and every test case and update these locators so it's an absolute killer and not at all a good practice so we need to remove this and we need to remove it in such a way that these locators go into a common location where I can basically update at one location and all my test scripts get the data or get the locator from that location. So the maintenance effort in case the locator change, it's just very minimal. Okay. So how we can do that? Think about it. Instead of having the data, the, the common data basically or the locator that is used in hundreds of script in all the script, we can basically move it some at some common location say for example common container and then all your test scripts get that data or the locator from that common or get get that detail from the common container right so in this framework world what we'll do is we'll just externalize it and let's say we put it in the, into the properties file okay or we create a java class and single java class and we'll name it say for example just locators.java okay whatever name we want to give or we the way we kept the config details into the properties file we create a properties file and then we put all these locators into the properties file and then use it okay so this is the theory aspect now let's see how we are going to implement it okay now in the config file, I can create a file or properties file, which we, we can say locators.properties, right? So I can simply create a new file, okay? And I can say locators.properties, okay? And now all the locators that will be used in my project, in my test cases, I can simply put it here. Now, same way we put the details into the config.properties, same way we can use the key value pair and put the locators. Now, say for example, in my test case, there was the locator for the sign-in, right? So we can simply say that this sign-in is the link text, right? So I can say sign-in uh, button, okay? So this is basically the button that we are, or link that we are, we are trying to click. So what we can do here is we can say sign in link. Okay, we'll give some name, uh, logical name, right? And provide the locator detail here. Okay, so same way as we did here. Okay, and then we will simply do the same thing, right? So we'll simply say uh, we don't need uh, the quotes here. Okay, because we'll handle that into the script. Similarly, uh, there is a login ID, which is the ID for uh, sending the keys. So this is basically email field, right? So login ID is the email field where we send the keys. So we'll say email field and provide the detail. So same way we will do for all other locators that are there in my script. So this is basically clicking on the next button. Okay, so I can say next button. You have to make sure basically when you are naming this, you name them in a proper, you know, with, with proper naming convention so that later when you are trying to use these names, you understand which button or which field means what, right? Then we will simply have this for the password. So this is the password field. So we'll say 
password field and then we have this next button right so which is again the next button but this is the final login button right so we can say login next button okay and we have to make sure that you you make these names unique so that there is no issue right so now once we have these locators here okay in the locators dot properties how we can read it so the reading part is exactly the same as we did for the system uh, or config properties right so we have defined this properties um, object for a new properties uh, object and same thing we'll do for this reading the locators right so we can simply say properties and then we can say loc which is locators and then we have defined the file readers so or read to read this locator properties as well we can simply have another file reader okay so we can simply copy this and we can simply paste it here and here instead of config.properties we want to read this locators.properties right and we just use this file reader okay uh, or maybe what we can do is we can define another file reader to read this second file okay so we will simply say file reader one and we can say file reader and we load the other file okay so we'll say the other file also got loaded all right so first one is for the config and second one is for the locators okay so locators dot properties now in our script so this this will basically load all the locators that are present in this locator.properties file now in my test case what i need to do is i need to basically remove the hard coding of these locators and then use the locators that are supplied in the locators.properties okay so we simply need to use the key there because in case tomorrow something got changed or developers change something in the locators then we simply have to come here in this file and update the locator here at one place not in our script okay so now what we need to do is we need to simply say here the way we read the details here in the base property how we read it we said driver dot get and then whatever properties object got created the reference to that so for locators we have this loc so we can simply say loc dot get property and then the name of the property right so we can simply use the same thing here okay so we can simply say by dot link text and in the link text what we can say is locator dot get property and what was the property the property for this sign in link was so the name is sign in underscore link okay and we provide the detail there and now we say dot click okay similarly we do for others as well so let me quickly change it for others as well so we'll simply say dot get property loc dot get property and this is email field right and here we are sending the keys right so we are sending the okay so by id there is something some all right okay, this is missing all right now sending the keys now this is again some hard coding which will understand which will externalize when we go to the data driven aspect of the framework as of now just let it be like that okay as a as a as part of this tutorial we just want to externalize the locators okay so same thing we'll do for other three as well so let me quickly do that and then we'll proceed further all right so i have updated all of these locators so now there is no hard coded locator where exactly is the locator it's in the locators dot properties and i'm just using the key that is associated with these locators okay so now it looks much cleaner so now this script is much cleaner there is minimal hard coding of only the username and password which will be also externalized and now if you want to extend this to some other scenarios it's very easy for you to extend and the locators are not hard coded at all okay so now if i run this particular script it should run exactly the same way no issues the only change we have done is we have externalized the locator so that we can maintain or manage this framework properly and the locators properly 
without much hassle in our test cases as the test case count grows in our framework okay so let me run this and see the results so it is starting and should run uh, it should open the browser soon and the script should run exactly the same way without any issues and failures all right okay so there are failures so let's see what is the error okay so cannot find element with link text all right okay so it looks like uh, there is uh, some issue in the format let me so locator file looks good let me go to base test here and see what things we can so we have a read uh, the we have the file readers defined here at the global level okay we don't need these at the local level we have already defined file reader and file reader one there and then we are loading this first one and then we are loading okay all right okay so we are loading this if you see we are loading this property which is config dot property right with properties for the config dot property if you see here all right so uh we we, we need to load this the first properties file and then the second one is for the locators we need to change it basically to the locators right so this file reader is reading the locators dot properties file so we need to load this locators dot properties file as well right so previously it was prop dot load which was not correct okay so if we go to this error you will easily find out that it is complaining that cannot find elements when the link text is null right so basically it shows that the link text is not being returned it's it's returned as null which is some problem in reading the value from this properties file right and where we have defined the reading part of it it's in the base test right so we have defined this reading of the properties file in the base test that's where i came to this base test and looked for whether i am reading this properly and we found that yes instead of property because we need to read both files right the locators and the config because in the test we are reading the locators right so locator dot get property now everything should run as expected so let's quickly uh, run this okay or i'll simply click on run all and it should start running so this time it should be able to read the locator successfully from the locator dot properties file and populate those locator in the script and script should run exactly the same way as it used to run should now go to the login yes it has clicked next and it should enter the password yes and click click on sign in yeah so it has successfully signed in into the zoho account and now it should close the browser and test should be successful so yes uh, it has ran successful you can you can see the test has passed and everything is running as expected okay so now you can imagine right like how easy it has become right so say for example tomorrow some uh, developer comes in and instead of uh, this you know field say for example id of this password field uh, is required to be changed to say password one two three okay now if this change has happened and you haven't externalized these locators into some properties file or excel file and these locators are hard coded as they were before into your script so if there are 50 100 200 500 scripts and your field is there in say for example 200 300 scripts will you be going to all those scripts and changing this locator from password to password one two three and making sure that everything runs successfully right so that's very tedious work and that's where this is really helpful because now there is single source of truth for all these locators they are in the locators dot properties file now, if there is any change, I'll simply come here and add one, two, three. And now all my script, because they'll be using this key instead of actual value. So I can change the value at one bucket, which is basically this particular container. Say example, this is one of the container. I simply change this value here. And wherever this value is being referred in the script, then the script will have the latest updated value of the password field. So that's why we need to work and put effort in framework development in thinking how we are going to maintain our scripts later 
here how much effort is required to maintain the scripts once you write it right so even though there might be chance that you are spending a lot of time in framework approach thinking and designing but at the end of the day that is what will give you fruits later rather than just rushing around and doing scripting without giving any thought right that's the message that you should convey to your uh, managers to the leads or whosoever is managing your project that you have to spend time in thinking before writing a piece of code for automation okay so that's all uh, basically about this tutorial how you are going to externalize the locators into different file and then how that those locators can be referred into your script and your script can become more maintainable okay so this is just sort of a beginning of this framework a lot more is going to come stay tuned and we will cover each and every aspect of the framework development by end of this series you will be pro in developing your own framework and working and using those framework for any of your client in your workplace okay so that's all i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching